Okay, okay, enough for a moment of all those amazing but very serious psychological horror games. For a moment, let's just check out something completely different. You just saw it, you just saw the trailer of a game called Days of Doom and it looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm happy I can speak with Jason. Hi Jason, how are you? I'm great, how you doing? I'm fine and Days of Doom, like I said, uh, I will repeat myself, it looks fantastic. But I'm curious about one thing, lately I see more and more tactical games on the market. Like, uh, there are so many of them right now, and Days of Doom is, uh, is another proof that you can do anything you want with tactical games. You can tell any story you want, set it in any setting you can imagine. Uh, and I'm curious, uh, what are you thinking, why today we are witnessing the renaissance of tactical games? You know, when you say renaissance, it's kind of funny because, you know, what's the original tactics game? It's chess. Chess never went away. People still play it and, and it's persevered. And it's almost like an iteration on that. And there is, and, and I think the the appeal actually comes down to combining various elements of games, right? So one, you're not rushed. People get busy, people have things to do. And there's something nice about a game that can provide certain levels of stress without rushing you to do a thing. So you can think about what you need to do. If you need to pause it, like if you're portable or something, you could close it, come back later. And, uh, and then approach it as uh, however you'd like. There's a certain joy in executing a perfect plan or and the tension that comes with being attacked by somebody and seeing the enemy set up, but then you happen to get that upper hand and then it's almost like solving a solution in a puzzle, but it's always different. And you do that over and over and over again to the point where it doesn't get bored. And when you have a certain number of variables on the table, anything, anything can happen. So you continuously get surprised and delighted uh, when the perfect plan comes together. Or in our game, when when uh, certain happy accidents happen. Like someone who might have been set on fire walks into a gas cloud and b blows up. Something you didn't necessarily plan for, but then you're like, oh! And then the exact opposite could happen as well. As the publisher, you know, wasn't our directive to do it. This was actually the passion of the developer, Sneaky Bucks. And uh, it was their idea to make a tactics game. They have a passion for it. Um, you know, Dungeons and Dragons and that kind of stuff. So you'll see uh, along the way, it's not just a matter of uh, the tactics and the variables and different things that could happen along one campaign to run, but also these uh, scenarios and events that'll happen that'll create a new journey and experience each time you play the game. If you like tactical, roguelite, post-apocalyptic RPGs, Days of Doom is going to be a great one for you. It's very unique in its visual presentation. It's gorgeous hand-drawn art and animation original atmospheric uh, soundtrack as well you know we're just super excited for it it's outside of the you know traditional atari repertoire that you'd expect but it's a but it's something we're super proud of with the team at sneaky box to be releasing later this year so definitely wishlist the game that's the best way to support any and all developers including ourselves uh and publishers i should say so Go to Steam, wishlist it, or, uh, you know, you can do that on your uh, platform of choice. And uh, it helps more than you'd think. So that would be appreciated.